have a lot of activities taking place to celebrate this week and celebrate coding. It's really quite awesome. We've had a great response. We've had the SAP ISVs, which is a short for International Specialist Volunteers, coming out to assist us to run these activities during Africa Code Week. We're offering coding workshops using Scratch uh, for kids from eight years older, and we've got the capacity to train 1,500 kids, and that's our, our mark that we're trying to reach. Very exciting, and I'm very honored and privileged to be, have been asked to be the patron of it. Um, it ties in with our vision in the Western Cape, um, for ICT um, as well as skills that are necessary in the modern economy and after all what are we educating our children for other than to participate in the economy when they leave school. This is an important skill that is required when they leave school in the economy. It's so important to have the buy-in of the education department and the government in this uh, project so early on in the project and we're really excited about it because the value of the project is really being recognised. To us, it is, it is about ensuring that everybody is on board and everybody can be able to, to use computers. And coding is one of the things that we think they love. So once we expose our learners to that, it will take them further. The economy out there is, is, is rife. So we need letters that we aim to, to help us with regards to the economy. SAP, as funders, uh, they did a great thing to us. For our communities, the black communities in, in particular, this is the best thing you ever did. And we think that we need to spread it all over so that our kids can be able to, to, to use coding and as a language as well and to understand it. The first outcomes of this pilot, I think, is going to be a close-knit community of people who used to not talk before. And if we can build that, and if we can reinforce it, connections between young kids, the teachers, um, the, the science people, the, the, the universities, the private sector, I think if we can connect this community, we're going to have something that grows beautifully and organically. I think the lessons we've learned in the first year of Africa Code Week is to pick leaders who are passionate about the project and the initiative and what it stands for and actually turn dreams into reality.